Hi, and welcome to our video from a visit to Munster in Germany to visit their Christmas markets in 2021. We were guests of Munster Marketing, but what you see and hear is our personal experience. And if you didn't know, Munster is in the northwest of Germany. We were driving up from Aachen, but the journey direct from Calais is around about 300 miles. Or you can fly to the nearby Munster Osnabrück Airport. Now let's take a quick look at Munster's Christmas markets. It has six, and I'll provide a link to this leaflet and Munster's tourist website as well. And they're all within easy walking distance. This loop is just 1.2 miles. So without further ado, let's start at the Lights Market at St. Lamberti Church. And as you probably know, all German Christmas markets are running under the 2G rule, which means you need to be genimpft or genessen, which to us means vaccinated or recently recovered from Covid and these rules are strictly adhered to. But now let's get back to the markets and their wonderful stalls. And what we found was this is a great place to pick up a unique Christmas gift for somebody. There are plenty of stalls selling local artisanal products with of course stalls to get fed and watered. Our choice is always a nice warm Ingluvine. You will need to prove that you are 2G compliant, but once you have, you'll get a wristband that's valid for two days. That's a new addition since we filmed this video, and it makes real sense. And I love the St. Lamberti Church, but it does hold a dark secret. More of that later. As I said at the beginning, it's just a short stroll down Principal Mart to the Town Hall or Rat House and the next market, Munster's oldest and largest, the Weinnachsmarkt. And as with all my pronunciations in this video, I can only apologise. And once again, this is a great place to get a bite to eat. Although perhaps sanitise your hands after you've eaten, if you have a habit of perhaps licking up any juices. Oh, and an observation too. I think the folks of Munster have a bit of a sweet tooth. And as I often say, I feel the markets really come to life after the sun starts to go down. Oh, and another thing, around the food and drink stalls, there is a box. You need to keep this area clear after you've made your purchase. And as I always say, you can eat and drink on the markets and not need to dive into a restaurant. Once again, the markets are a great place to pick up something unique, and it doesn't have to be emblazoned with I love Munster, but by the time you finish with this city, you just might. And now this is the back of the rat house, and it's just a small walk up the alleyway, and we'll be back on Principal Mart. It's just a short walk from the Rat House down to Domplatz, where you'll find Munster's Cathedral. And to the outsider, it's slightly surprising there's not a huge Christmas market here. But the answer is, come back next day. And you'll find it is a market, the city's regular market. Again, within eyesight here is the Giebelhuska Market around the base of the Überwasser Kirche. Come on guys, you could have made this a touch easier, couldn't you? And once again, it does look a bit better once the sun has gone down. A smallish market, but there's plenty of choice and it feels a real family and friends orientated market. But saying that, all of the markets around wants to do. Now let's take a little look around.
And when she finished all that hard shopping, why not stop for a glue vine at the very end? Under the church is quite impressive tower. But I'm good. I return a little later. One thing I would note, it does seem a little quiet. This is five o'clock on a Friday evening. I suspect if we were to return in a normal year, it would be much busier than this. And I've just spotted a favourite of mine, Flamkuchen. And if you haven't tried one of these on the German Christmas markets, then you must. And another day, and I would recommend in spending two nights at Munster, there's plenty to see or do in the city. And I'll pop up a link at the end to our previous trip to Munster. And now a little bit more magic, and another Christmas market. And believe me, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this in German. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it in English. It weaves its way through a shopping complex. But despite that, it still seems to have a lovely mixture of unique gifts and crafts. So well worth checking out. And our next Christmas market is the Christmas village around Kuipenkel. And you've got to try the glue vine here. Enhanced with raisins and almonds. It's a fruity experience. I want a reminder. All bars, restaurants, cafes are 2G. And we felt very safe as we travelled through Munster's Christmas markets and we tested negative for COVID-19 on our return. And here's that glue vine stall. You know I only drink it for research, don't you? Christmas Christmas Market in Haaswinkelplatz, home to the Kirchenzoiler or Cherry Column Sculpture. Another market, very unique in its feel and look, and it prides itself on being regional and sustainable. A short walk across town, you come across the Carousel and the Cate Walthart pop up store selling a range of traditional German Christmas decorations. Now let's take another look at Prince of Palmart, this incredibly stylish shopping street that runs through Munster. It's home to some very fine shops indeed. Passing by the beautiful St Lamberti Church, Christmas season is fully pedestrianised, as well as the lanterns are replaced by advent wreaths. And now Sir Lambert's little dark secret. See the three lights in the cages in the church's tower? The last resting place of the three leaders of the anti-Baptist rebellion in the 16th century. But I don't think anyone cares about that now. It's just time to put on your Christmas hats and go out and celebrate Christmas. And can you see the band on the balcony of the Stad Wine House to the left of the Rat House? Well, they're keeping the people below entertained with renditions of traditional German Christmas carols. I think that calls time in our visit to Munster. I hope you like what we put together 
Don't forget to give us a like and a big thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. Stay safe, stay well, and happy travels.